Ciao ragazzi, my name is Anthony. Thank you for joining me on Intel Worldwide. Uh, it's probably because it's second day back at work or so busy and whatnot, but I, I'm not really exhibiting the euphoric emotions physically as I normally would by A, beating Juve and B, qualifying for the final of the Coppa Italia for a second year in a row. For all the, for all the bad form domestically in Serie A, for all the heartbreak we've endured this season, the fact of the matter remains is that we won the Super Coppa against Milan we're now through to the Coppa Italia final and we're in the semi-finals of the Champions League. This coach that we have and the little fetish that he's got for cup football is unbelievable compared to the rest of the league form that we have. He, he's, he just might be the best cup manager I've ever seen at Inter. I can't remember the last time we went into knockout tournaments playing this well. I only watched the first half today because once again, anxiety at halftime at six in the morning is too much. I find it a lot easier to walk my dog and just look at notifications. Get home with about 15 minutes left. And once again, toothless Juve. Cowardly Juve. This manager that they have, he, he does not go into games trying to nullify the opposition. He waits and picks for the sporadic periods of the game where he feels as though his team can execute. But he's never left with enough options or enough tactical flexibility. We were on them like an animal on a road today. It, like the first half, we, did they even touch the ball for 15 minutes? They only woke up around about minute 31, 32. God forbid that goal in the second half for Dzeko actually stood. Don't let the, the scoreline fool you. This was not a 1-0 performance. That had 3-0 written all over it to Inter. And yes, I say that knowing that I didn't even watch the second half, but I'm looking at the stats. I'm watching the ball move on the Pet365 little map. <laughs> um, I'm really happy. Like it's... We are in the final again of the Coppa Italia. We have a chance to exit this season with another two trophies. Let's not sit here and say we're going to go on to win the Champions League. Did everybody see Man City hand, their ass, uh, hand Arsenal their asses this morning? Manchester City literally sealed the Premier League title this morning at Arsenal's expense. And they did it without getting out of third gear. Kevin De Bruyne looks borderline overweight and he ran rings through that Arsenal defense. Man City's winning the Champions League. If it's not them, it's Madrid. But we still have a top four fight on our hands. I'm pessimistic, but we can still do it. And if we exit this season with a top four finish, a Coppa Italia, a Super Coppa, and God forbid a Champions League final, I will lose that Champions League final 7-0 to Manchester City. I don't care. Embarrass me. At least we're there. At least we're there. And you know where else we are again? In the fucking Coppa Italia final at the expense of our biggest rivals. Milan in the semi last year, Juve in the final. Juve in the semi this year. Bring on Cremonese or Fiorentina. Hell man, I think I might be even more scared of Fiorentina than I would be of a Milan or Juve at the moment. Fiorentina are good. But today, Forza Inter. Forza Inter worldwide. Andiamo a finale. Let's go.